Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser is skilled on how are you, my dear learners. In this video, we are going to talk about how to extract your meta-analysis data very easily without doing any manual work. So, it's a very interesting video and I'm pretty sure this video is going to be very useful for your meta-analysis data collection. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. My dear learners, I'm going to share a few free and paid softwares especially the websites where you can use and communicate with your downloaded articles very easily. Meaning that the PDF files that you have downloaded as a part of the meta analysis and you need to collect the data from the PDF files, right? And you want to conversate with the PDF files because back in days we try to find out the data by reading the PDF or article and find out the effect size like mean, descriptive statistics, standard deviation, correlation, odds ratio and likewise. But these days we have AI and these AIs are very useful tools. But some tools are paid and some tools are free. In this video, the tools that I am sharing, they have free and paid version both. So you can use any one of these uh, version paid or unpaid and none of these is going to be sponsor my video but for the sake of simplicity and for our researchers i'm sharing the best tools that i am currently using okay so let me share first tool is called the chat with any pdf and this website the link i will share in my video description box join millions of students researchers and professionals to instantly answer questions and understand research with ai now let us talk about a meta-analysis data I am working with one of the project called Can Digitalization Reduce the Corruption? And that is my research title. And I am trying to find out the correlation value between digitalization and the corruption. And using this tool, I can download the data very easily. So let us talk about how I am doing it. First of all, I am going to this website and then just click this link and it will show me where my downloaded files are. Let me share my files with you. So here are my files. As you can see here, there are several files. Now one of these files, let me share one of these files, let's say this one randomly. And let's assume we already uploaded this article, right? And we click this one, okay? Now in this particular case, we can ask the question, okay? That find out the sample size and correlation values can you find sample size and correlation value and once you ask this question you can see the pdf chat deep chat with pdf gives us the sample size and correlation value can be found in the provided pdf file and this is you can see 170 countries which is my n and the correlation values are provided in these pages and the values are given here 0 0.766, 0 0.67, 0 0.37 and 0.15. So very easily you can use this tool to collect your information by just simply diving down your PDF file and ask the question what your effect size and the sample size or whatever important effect size that you are looking for in order to do your meta analysis. Now this tool has two version upgrade and free version. So, if you are interested to go further and you like this tool, you may go for a paid option. The next one is called the SciSpace Literature Review. This is a very interesting and free and paid option a website or typesetting website where you can communicate with your PDF file just like I have did with chat PDF. Let me see here, if you go to the SciSpace link, which I will of course share with you, here you can see chat with PDF. Click this one. Okay. And then again, the same way, if I click this paper and it will share with you that where I'm going to share, copy and store this article. And as you can see, my article is here, e-corruption, reduction and the role of countries, right? Now here in this box, I'm going to share that find out the sample size and correlation value okay so that is my question and if i ask this question 
and this psi space will read the whole article which I do not have to do. Back in days I have to do this but the psi space will do it for me and psi space will give me that the sample size and the value. So here you can see psi space give me the information of 57 countries are my sample size. Here the sample size meaning that 57 countries from the value from the year 2003 to 2014 and correlation value it says that it does not explicitly mention the correlation value okay now in this case you know in meta analysis we some, we do some screening and we screen out some excluded articles based on if the article does not have our required information so we can quickly screen using this type of tools to find out that which articles are it should be included in our analysis and which we should exclude from our list of observations or article samples. The next one is the very common one is a chat GPT and you can see here the new chat GPT 4.0 is a free option right now has this tool called the chat GPT attachment. If you click this one and up, upload article for instance the one that I'm just doing it right now from this list let's assume one of these article I am going to upload and this this has some limitations and i'm all doing for free version not the paid version one so here that you can ask the same question can you find the sample size and correlation value from this article for instance okay so that is my question okay that is my question i would like to extract data from chat gpt let me see chat gpt what it actually gives me so here you can see that the sample size is given here very easily the corruption control group 2209 and 179 is the uh, treatment group or economic capacity group here the correlation values are given me are 0.76 or different political capacity, economic capacity, e-government. So in the medical science, we have different outcome values, right? Based on the outcome values, you can find out the information of correlation and the number of sample. So this can be a good way to collect your raw data from the PDF file for your meta analysis. But as I said, it has some limitations like number of articles that you can upload it. But if you're interested, you can buy this paid version and go further for extracting data easily okay the last one i'm going to talk about is called the perfectity ai this ai i already discussed this in my previous video the perplexity ai here also you go to the perplexity and this perplexity ai if you open this website it will share like this you attach your article just like i have done for this article let me share the same one and ask anything write down the same question that i'm currently working on and let me see what the perplexity ai give me the information okay so here you can see the answers are given me that here the ex the extract of the data set gives me that what are the sample size and the my the value of the article meaning that the correlation value you can right. use for your day-to-day -day data extraction for meta-analysis number one is your size space then chat gpt then chat with chat pdf and then perfect city ai these tools are very handy and very useful for your meta-analysis data extraction and i hope it will be useful for your next data collection very easily without doing any manual work so until next time thank you so much my dear learners i will see you in the next tutorial with the application of structural equation modeling how to write a research article based on structural equation modeling i'll share that particular nice tutorial in my next video thank you so much my dear learners bye bye